Breaking news update. Two people are now charged in connection with the deadly shooting at a Spartanburg County apartment complex last month. Our Kelsey O'Donnell is outside the Spartanburg County Sheriff's Office with the latest details. Tuesday morning, we learned that two people are now behind bars in connection to that shooting that deputies are now calling a domestic related incident. We have crime in our community and people are refusing to talk with us. It's a concern the sheriff's office says they encounter all too often. On February the 11th of this year at approximately 1.42 a.m., uh, the communications received seven different 911 calls about shots being fired at the Spring Valley apartment complex. That's when another homicide investigation began. According to the sheriff's office, while responding to the shooting, they received a second 911 call explaining there had been a vehicle accident nearby. Sheriff Wright says 23-year-old Tykeel Fleming was found with an apparent gunshot wound in the front seat of that car. He didn't deserve that. He just celebrated his 23rd birthday. Every day, all we can see is visions or pictures of his face. That's all we have left. Tuesday morning, we learned that two people are now behind bars in connection to the shooting. Malik Smith has been charged with the death of Fleming and Shirley's Burgos is charged with accessory before and after the fact. Sheriff Wright says Burgos fled to New Jersey after the incident and several other people were unwilling to cooperate with law enforcement to share any information. The people on the scene refused to talk to us. Some of the friends that gathered there uh, said, no, we, we know who did it, we'll take care of it. And I'm like, that, that, that is just not okay. You know, this is not a movie. It's something Sheriff Wright says needs to change. We gotta reach out and we gotta start filling out how we can help our community. We just have to. This violence has got to stop. Smith is being held at the Spartanburg County Detention Center under no bond and Burgos is currently being held in New Jersey where she soon will be transported back down here to South Carolina. Reporting in Spartanburg County, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News.